If you're watching this video, I know you want to buy PC parts and I know you want to buy them at a good price. Ang problema, medyo hassle to determine kung ano ba yung good price. Dadaan ka sa isang katutak na stores, tapos kailangan may historical data ka. Kukumpare mo yung price ngayon sa price noon para malaman mo kung yung price ngayon okay ba siya based on the historical price of the item. That's a lot of effort, that's a lot of research, in short, hassle. Huwag ka magalala kasi ginawa na namin yun lahat for you. All of the research, all of the tracking, lahat ng hassle, we've done all of that. We've been tracking CPU and GPU prices here in the country since last year from the top four largest computer stores in the Philippines. So makikita talaga natin yung averages, kung mataas ba yung presyo ngayon, kung mababa, if now is a good time to buy. Lahat ng data na yun, lahat ng research na sa Google Sheet, link in the description below. And anytime you want to buy a computer part, pwede mo suriin yung sheet na yan. Kasi na-update rin namin kahit wala tong price watch episode, which we do once a month. And this month in particular, something happened, two things have happened that I've never seen before. Both good news, both good for prices, never pa to nangyari. Which you're gonna find out after you hear about the good prices from our sponsor. Bibili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, halito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit, working cdkey ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, check out cdkeyoffers.com Let's jump right into it. The two things that I've never seen before. Number one, 3060 below 20,000 pesos. The 30 series medyo dumating nung pandemic, chip shortage, GPU apocalypse, and the 3060 is the mid-range card that everybody is gunning for. Pero alam mo na Nvidia, syempre mahal yung 3060. But this month is the first time that we've seen it below 20,000. The average price is just slightly above 20. But there are stores selling it for below 20, including Hardware Sugar. Thank you, Jesus. With all of the new 40 series cards coming out, bumababa na yung presyo ng 30 series. Usually, pag dumadating yung 40, the other 40 cards don't go down in value, but the 30 series does. At yung mas mahalaga pa dito, this is the 12 gigabyte version of the 3060. The 3060 comes in two flavors, 8 gigabytes of VRAM versus 12 gigabytes. Now, VRAM has been a trending topic lately kasi may nagsasabi na kulang na kulang na yung 8GB for most modern games, let alone future AAA games. 12GB, VRAM na daw yung minimum na kailangan. Now, we've always tracked the prices of the 12GB version of the 3060 kasi tingin namin, mas value yun for money. Yes, mas mura nga ng konti yung 8GB version, but bang for your buck, value for money, in 12 gigabytes talaga yung mas maganda. So we've been tracking 3060 prices since October last year and those are all 12 gigabyte variants. First time namin makakita na below 20k na siya ngayon. So if you're in the market for a good mid-range to high-end card depending on the relative specs of your PC, a brand new 3060 12 gigabytes below 20,000 is pretty good. Yun nga first time namin to makita in our almost one year of tracking GPU and CPU prices dito sa atin. And the second big news for this episode, another one that I've never seen before, is that for all of the four stores, walang tumaas na GPU price. Lahat ng changes dun sa GPU prices for all of the stores, pababa. I never thought I would see the day. And we track a variety of GPUs from AMD, the 6000 and 7000 series, from Nvidia, the 30 series and the 40 series. So, sari-sari yung mga tinitingnan natin na cards. But from all of the four major stores, walang price increase for any of the cards we tracked. It's the first time I've ever not seen red. Kasi kinocolor code natin yung data to make it easier to see the differences. If you see red, that means the price has gone up from the last time we checked. Kung blue, bumaba siya. Lahat ng GPU prices for this episode either stayed the same or bumaba. 
So, ang dami mong marinig online, mababasa online na nagreklamo about GPU prices. Pero alam naman yung tao online, mahilig lang magreklamo. Here we have multiple data points gathered since last year indicating a clear price trend downwards. I wish the trend was the same in CPUs, although there was slight price increases, notably from one store. So, hindi to clean sweep. Sa GPUs lang, bumaba lahat ng presyo. Although, CPU prices are generally more stable than GPUs, so they're not as much of a concern. Yung GPU prices talaga na trauma na yung mga tao when they shot through the roof during the pandemic. Alright, so jumping into the actual sheet, this is what we were talking about. The very first time I've seen all blue, <laughs> so walang red. All of the price changes we tracked for GPUs were prices downwards. 3050, 60, kahit yung 4090 na high end, bumaba. And this extends to AMD models. Although we are having difficulty finding data on some of the AMD models, actually sobra mahirap makahanap ng 6700 XT, 6750 XT, reflecting the good prices and people are snapping up those GPUs when they come on the market. So it's hard to find stores actually na may stock nito. Even the XTX, the 7900 XTX, the fastest currently of AMD, only two of our four stores have it. Although it's interesting to note that yung pinaka high end ni AMD around 66k, 67k, yung pinaka high end ni Nvidia, of course, is well above that. Yung 4090, mga 106, 107k. So very roughly, you could get two of AMD's highest end cards. Again, very roughly compared to just one of the high-end, pinaka-high-end ni NVIDIA. But gripes aside, yun nga, it's the best time. These are the best prices I've seen for GPUs. The only time we've ever seen it na walang price increase in any of the models that we've tracked. So I did mention that there are 3060s now for below 20K. So we've seen one 19,740. This one is great, colorful, 18,500. We have talked about the colorful brand in the past na quality, reliable, plus mura kasi hindi pa siya ganun kasikat. Great deal on this 3060. Although the average price is still slightly above 20,000. If you take the aggregate price of the four stores, 20,135 yung price niya. And this is in stark contrast to the last data point we have from last month. The average price of the 3060 was close to 21,100, ngayon close to 20,100. So, a 1,000 peso difference. Quite substantial. And yun nga, if you go shopping, you can find it for even cheaper. Generally, the good prices extend to CPUs. Actually, galit nga ako dito kay Roy kasi sinira niya yung trend. Malapit na rin tayo maka-sweep dun sa CPUs na lahat ng price changes pababa. Except ito si Roy, who is actually well-known for having very well-priced items. Not a lot of high-end items, yung medyo mid-range type. Uh, um, tumas yung prices nila for the 5600X and the 5600G. Thanks, Roy. Sobrang mura ng 5600G nila dati. And to be fair, yung 5600X is just slightly more expensive. 25 pesos more expensive. Now, you notice hindi tugma tong rows natin. 5600X on the last data point becomes the 7800X3D because that's another news point for Price Watch. We have added the 7800X3D. More high end CPU from AMD, a bit rocky start with the flame outs involved with the motherboards. But we have seen interest, we have seen demand. In fact, they've sold rather well with Hardware Sugar. So, just as an added data point, na, and if you're looking for the best gaming performance, usually the X3D series of AMD is very good value for money. So not multi-core tasks, but like single-core applications like gaming really benefit from the added 3D architecture, the added cache of the X3D series. So you can see that with the 5800X3D and the latest iteration AM5 platform 7800X3D. So we started to track the prices. Only two stores carry it. And I'm happy to know that Hardware Sugar also stocks the 7800X3D. Our current price is below the average price. So, the average price of the two stores is 28,000. Is 28,177. Our price is below that one. Just in case you're in the market for a 7800X3D. 
So mid year is actually looking like a good time to buy. Usually, medyo dead air yung middle of the year kasi because the new products have just launched. We're waiting for the new new products towards the end of the year. So not much action going on on the product release front, but the prices, the prices are doing so well. If you're in the market now for a GPU, a brand new 3060 below 20K is really very attractive. The AMD cards, the 6000 series, have really good prices if you can find them, especially the upper end like the 6700 XT. On the CPU front or on the whole rig front, if you're thinking about jumping to a new platform, whether that's Intel 13th Gen or AMD's AM5, prices are looking good also. Price drops with the highest end 3900K from all of the stores that have them. So we have three stores that stock the 3900K and they all had price drops. This week, the average price of a 3900K is around 37K. Only a slight price drop from last month, na 37,500. So we have summarized all of that data in this other tab, itong summary. So you can see the summarized average data per model. So the, our newest entry, the 7800X3D, no data from before, but starting from now, we'll track it. Just a quick rundown, 1650, no price change. Price drop in the 3050. Price drop in the 3060, as mentioned. Price drop 4070. Price drop 4080. 2000 peso average. And also a 2000 peso price drop average for the 4090. Big price drop for the 6500 XT from 12 to 10. I really can't find any, or at least the four stores that we track don't have any 6700 XTs. The first time actually that I can't present any data. We've been tracking this model since. Week 4, so that was last year, mga November. May data na tayo noon. But this month, June 2023, wala na umahanap. Slight price increase actually in the 7900XTX. Price drop for the 7950X. Price the same for the 7600X. You know, the other 7000 CPUs are not selling that well. Slight price drop for the 5600X. The 5000 series of AMD really has staying power. Sobrang demand pa nila. Slight price increase for the 5600G. And a very good price decrease. This is really sort of the older models, but still good if you're looking for bang for your buck. Very big price drop, around the 1,000 peso price drop for the Ryzen 5 3600. Slight price drop for the 3900K. Slight price drop for the 13600K. And a not insubstantial, sort of 1,000 peso price drop for the 12500. Overall price drops pretty much across the board. Looking for a new system, looking for a new CPU or GPU. Now is a great time to buy. And as always, you can check out this sheet. Available sha online 24-7. Link in the description below. You can check it even if we don't have a price watch episode. Kasi ginagawa lang namin to once a month. But this sheet we update or we try to update regularly. So you can see the price trends in real time. And if you've been waiting, now might be time to pull that trigger. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.